You want to say hi? Hi. Good morning, everybody. Max is going to go on the bed. He likes it. So, today I'm going to show you my Po Folks breakfast. And I hope you'll enjoy it. It's not for everybody, but I love it. When I was a kid, my dad would cook this. <laughs> I fell in love with it. I think it's tasty, it's cheap, it's only a couple ingredients, and for a simplicity, I will, I just thought I would share it with you. So the ingredients are really eggs, milk, and bread, toast. So I have the bread in the toaster. I'm not going to show you it, but I'll show you it as I go. So I'm going to use butter and salt and pepper. That's pretty much it. You can add a little sage or whatever kind of spices you want. But for me, I like it with just salt and a lot of pepper. So I'm boiling the water and I'm going to put my eggs in here and let them get poached. Then I'm going to heat my milk up in the microwave because I don't like it to be too hot or scorched as I cook the eggs. So I, the best way is to cook it in water for your eggs and then add it to the hot milk. Then you don't have burnt milk. So let's see if I, let's see if I can break the egg without, uh, br without breaking the egg. <laughs> So I'll put in here because water is boiling. Okay, there's one. And there's two if I don't lose eggshell in there. <laughs> Ouch, that fire's hot. Doesn't want to break loose. There it goes. Okay, there's two. So I add salt to the water because I want the salt to get into the egg and I'll add the pepper later so I also add some butter to the water and I use real butter or ghee butter today I'm using real butter I like a lot of butter in there so about a take maybe two teaspoons which is good so I let this cook Till the eggs are done. Then I'm going to drain the water and put the eggs on in my warm milk. Right now I'm going to put the milk in the microwave. So this is my collapsible strainer. I don't really even have to open it up, but I could like that. It's really simple. But I just leave it like see, it's this here to put the eggs on. Then the eggs will pour out easily. One thing I'll mention to you, the milk's ready, is I use a pretty hot heat to do this so they cook faster. And I use a rubber spatula under the egg so it don't stick to bat to the bottom of the pan. And the butter also keeps the pan from sticking too bad. When you drain it, poach eggs somehow kind of stick to the edges of your pot. If you use oil or butter, it won't be so bad and it'll clean up pretty easily. So I think my eggs are ready. And I'm going to go ahead and pour them into my strainer. I'll pop my toaster on. So let's get this going. Okay, the toast is brown. And I'm going to pop it in here in the bowl. And I like to add a little bit of butter on top of that. So let's do this. My milk is pretty close to ready. I just put it back in for a couple more seconds. The hotter it is, the better. So I think I'll do that. Okay, the bread is done. And I'm going to take my eggs, my poached eggs, and pour the right on top of the toast. So let me push this over a little bit. You can put it right there. 
there it goes. So then, okay, the milk is hot, boiling, you see the steam. I'm gonna pour usually about three quarters to a half a cup. I just want it to come up to the line of the first piece of bread. Of the, it, I know people think it's all soggy and what it have, but believe me, it's really good to me. So let's do lots of salt and lots of pepper. The more pepper for me, the better. So that looks pretty good. So we already have butter in it. You can see this pretty good. So that's my Pope folks breakfast. Eggs, bread, a little butter, and milk. That's pretty simple. Very cheap and very yummy tasty. And the only thing I dirtied up in my small rig is a pan and a strainer, a knife and a fork. That's it. Oh, plus my little rubber spatula. So that's it. And I can put the rest of the milk that I had a little bit left over. Let it sit for a little bit till it cools down. Put it back in the fridge to drink it later. So there we have it. And I like to just break it up all together. Perfect. Hard to hold the camera and do this. I'm not multitasker but that is really good I have to turn the camera around so you can see hang on I haven't quite figured it out really I'm still working on it how to set up my cameras in this box truck so I can't get it close enough without it being, being backwards or ups, upside down on top of me so but here we are. And even Maxie can eat this pretty much a little bit. I don't give him very much real food, but I give him bits and pieces, little tastes. So let's see if he likes it. Are you licking your chops? Huh? Are you licking your chops? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't eat the bowl. Oh, he wants more. <laughs> Says, if I can eat it, anybody can. <laughs> I don't like to try new things very often, but I thought maybe you would like to try this. You'll find that's very good. Check out the description below. Thank you for coming.